We really have not learned, have we, guys? Really? We're gonna talk about six years ago now. All right, let's discuss this. So let me give you guys a backstory if you guys haven't heard of it or you guys are new to hockey or you have no idea what's going on. Well, there has been a scandal in the Canadian World Juniors hockey team. It stems between players Alex Formington, Dylan Dubé, Carter Hart, Michael McLeod, and also Cal Foot. Now, why is this important? Well, allegedly, and I'm going to say this, allegedly, because I don't want to get sued, these players has been engaging in sexual assault allegations recently. And a lot of people on Twitter are already calling them guilty, and these guys are terrible people, throw them in jail, that kind of thing. So where did this take place? Well, it took place in 2018 of June at a Hockey Canada Gala event, allegedly. There's no information on screen here that says what happened, was it consensual or nothing. Apparently, the news of the event first broke in May 2022 after TSN reported Hockey Canada had settled a civil lawsuit with the complainant. That report triggered a series of events which included renewed investigations, oh yeah, okay, as well as intense scrutiny focused on Hockey Canada that eventually led the entire board and leadership team to resign so the whole hockey canada community stepped down i don't know what they did they probably just wanted to leave because well nobody knew why obviously they have no information they just abruptly stepped down because maybe they are guilty but maybe they're not guilty at the same time those guys on the panel so that's why these are allegations and these are not confirmed but that's not important we know those guys stepped down. They're probably dealing with their situation. But what about the players? Well, according to the agents of all the players, almost, all of them have said that they have not engaged in any alleged sexual assault. Their players did not engage in any sexual assault. But obviously, that's not up to them. That's up to the court system. So after the 2022 debacle, nothing happened. Everybody forgot about it within a week. But today, we have more information about nothing. The only information we have is that the London police, London, Ontario, to say the least, said that the five members, Dubé, Formington, Carter Hart, Calfoot, and michael mcleod have to surrender to the police so now that this happened they all took a indefinite leave of absence because obviously you're not going to keep playing hockey when you have some allegations against you so now the london ontario police have to basically prove that these people were sexually assaulting women and there's a lot of people on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, saying that there's videos online surfacing of these people doing it. Now, think about how stupid that is. Who would record themselves doing something stupid like that? If you do record yourself doing stupid shit like that, you deserve to be in prison, 100%. But there's so many rumors out there of what they could have done. It just seems that people want these people to be sexual assaulters because they can be like oh look a man did this and he was a hockey player and he had millions of dollars so therefore he's a pretty bad person i'm steering towards innocent until proven guilty of course the snowflakes will be like oh you're defending sexual assaulters how could you do that why can't you support the victims we don't think logically anymore so we think emotionally instead and what happens when we think emotionally all these things get into our brains where we clearly think that, oh, this person has to be guilty because he's a man, right? Or this person is guilty because he's a hockey player. He needs to be more responsible. Or how about this situation? How about consensual intercourse? And two things would have happened here. A, they had consensual intercourse and the male counterparts did not enjoy it so they got put on blast or two they weren't interested in having intercourse with these women and these women made it up there's a lot of people out there i'm not saying all women but i'm saying most women nowadays that claim sa they go out there and they try to get these people's money because they have millions of dollars even if you're a league minimum nhl player they'll want that money from you. 
I have a couple examples here that actually backs up my point quite literally. You guys remember Patrick Kane? Oh yeah, he's that superstar player that's in the NHL still till this day. He's won a couple cups, you know, Patrick Kane. Yeah, so apparently he had an SA case against him as well. And guess what happened? He was let go scot-free because he did nothing wrong. And when you do nothing wrong and you're an innocent person and you just hear that this woman is crazy and she's out for your money and she wants to put you behind bars and ruin your career because you either said something that she didn't like or something happened between the two and they just did not get along. Anyway, he was basically acquitted from his actions and Patrick Kane is still the superstar that he is today and he's still playing hockey. No issues whatsoever ever since that happened. Hmm, it's like he didn't do anything. How about number two? My favorite one out of all of them, Jake Vertanen. So Jake Vertanen was a Vancouver Canuck, one of my favorite teams in the National Hockey League. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Jake Vertanen was not a very good player, but he was under a lot of scrutiny because a crazy woman accused him of sexual assault when he didn't do anything at all. And you know how I know he didn't do anything at all? Because this investigation went all the way to the crown and the crown is like the top court system and they said nothing happened there was no evidence to support her claims she's crazy and she just wanted his money and that's exactly what it was so i'm not saying that these five players are innocent by any means if they are guilty then fuck them throw them in jail but you guys got to understand that this has to go through an entire court system. This has to go through an entire process. You can't just say, oh, he's guilty because I don't like him because he's a bad sports player. You have to go through the process. And if you don't go through the process, then you got innocent people in prison, which is happening till this day. And you're going to continue to have Jake Vertanen cases, Patrick Kane cases almost every year. And guess what happens to these women? nothing did that person or that woman who accused kane did she get in trouble absolutely not what happened was is the closed case he was not guilty and everybody forgot about it nothing happened to her same thing with the jake for tanning case anything happened to the woman nope nothing happened to them it's because there is a philosophy in the western culture that we have to hate on men and we have to put them in jail for something that they didn't do. The London police will speak on this on February 5th, so we'll just need to find out what happens then. I understand some people are gonna be angry in the comments, but I gotta tell the truth, guys. If this comes out that those five players are innocent, I'm going to tell you exactly, and they're gonna be a part of what the evidence that I provided today to you guys on screen in the next video or the next scandal it's going to be this one i could have gone into multiple coaches that were wrongfully accused as well but we're not going to go into that it's just about hockey players and just how many bad people there are out there hope you guys have a fantastic day god bless you guys and i'm out